Hi, I'm Jeff from Simply Statistics. I'll be teaching a course called Data Analysis coming up in a couple of weeks on Coursera. I made this video to show how data analysis fits in at the intersection of more commonly understood disciplines like statistics, computer science, and business or scientific applications. I hope it will explain the course a little bit better and also help to put applied data analysis in context. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the course. I'm going to be teaching a class called Data Analysis on the Coursera platform. Data Analysis is a somewhat vaguely defined term, which can mean different things to different people. It is also a course that is not commonly offered at most universities. So I'll explain what I see as the disciplines that form the basis for data analysis and how they come together. Data Analysis has at least three basic components. They are computer programming, statistics, and specific areas of application in business or science. Each of these components is critical to good data analysis, but none of these standard disciplines contains all the skills you need to be a good data analyst. All good data analyses start with a specific question in science or business. Data analyses that don't start with a concrete, specific question are prone to false positives, misleading results, and wasted effort. So being a good data analyst requires the effort to learn about the scientific discipline you are studying. In each application area, advanced data analysis might go by a different name, like computational neuroscience for the analysis of data from the brain, financial engineering for analysis of stocks and bonds, social network analysis for the analysis of data from Facebook or Twitter, and data science for the analysis of data from web technologies. Once you have defined a specific question you want to answer, the tools you need to quantify those answers are found in statistics. Statistics creates a quantitative framework for using small samples to understand larger populations, like with political polls, for creating and evaluating predictive functions, like when Netflix tells you which movies you may be like based on your previous ratings, or for trying to understand causal relationships between variables, like when medical scientists determine that cigarette smoking caused cancer. After you have defined a question and framed the question quantitatively with statistics, the next step is using data to answer the question. Modern data analysis relies on computer programming to obtain data, clean and process that data, then fit, evaluate, and visualize the statistical models you use. Computing for data analysis, offered by Roger Ping, co-editor of Simply Statistics, teaches the basics of the most popular computer programming language for data analysis, called the R programming language. These are the three fundamental components of data analysis, but we can also take a bigger step back and see the relationship with other disciplines that are farther removed from the day-to-day -day of data analysis. Computer science does not play a direct role in data analysis, but creates the tools such as algorithms and databases that can be used to manipulate data. A lot of the focus of big data so far has concentrated on computer science, because before we can develop statistical methods to analyze and understand the, the implications of big data sets, we first just need to know how to handle them, manipulate them, store them, and pass them around. Another discipline that isn't directly involved in data analysis is mathematics. Like computer science, mathematics provides a set of fundamental underpinnings for the statistical methods that play a role in data analysis. But it's not critical to understand all of the mathematical foundations to be able to use and understand statistical methods. So there it is, the landscape of data analysis. I hope this video helps you understand a little better how each discipline is important in its own right and contributes to data analysis. I ho also hope it is now clear that data analysis requires all of these disciplines to be successfully done.